I just want to start this video off by saying this is not a sponsored video. No one is paying me to say any of this stuff. I'm just going off of my own experience. And I want to share with you guys what I think works really well for protecting metal from rust. So as you can see in the top left hand corner it says reenactment. It's because when I initially started this test, uh, I didn't record any of it. So I'm just going through the steps to show you what I did initially. So as you can see, I got a... Uh, fairly new piece of metal and I ground off three sections on it so I could have a control the center one was going to be covered with fluid film and the spot all the way to the right would be the CRC corrosion inhibitor and it's what I'm doing right here I'm just using a cardboard to try to minimize the amount of cross contamination it's nothing crazy you know it's cardboard what do you expect but uh, it does a pretty good job. It's what I did the first time. And now I'm applying the CRC. Even though for some reason I completely forgot to show it on camera. But trust me I am spraying the CRC. So as you can see we have our control on the left. Fluid film in the center. And CRC corrosion inhibitor all the way to the right. And at this point I just took it outside. And I laid it down in a specific spot. And it sat there the entire time. It did not move at all. So I live in Chicago, Illinois. And the weather over here can get pretty extreme on both ends. It could be super cold during the winter. And really hot during the summer. And we get everything from rain to sleet to hail. doesn't matter and this thing just kind of sat outside the entire time uh, not covered up by anything as you can see this is where I laid it it just sat on this old uh, chair that's been outside forever and as you can see there is nothing on top of it preventing anything from hitting this thing I'm sure you're wondering how I know exactly how long this part has been sitting out here and I actually have a very sophisticated and scientific way of telling that Here we have our control all the way to the left and as you can see it's looking pretty rusty after sitting outside for all this time. Here in the center we have the fluid film and of course it does look better than the control but there's still plenty of rust on it. And here we have the CRC which as you can see honestly it looks perfect. There's absolutely no signs of corrosion underneath the coating of the CRC and you can see with your fingernail you could actually remove that coating. It's dry to the touch and it won't rub off. It only comes off if you want it to come off. This stuff uh, is it's really amazing and I'm not trying to knock fluid film because I do use fluid film still but it does wash off and you're gonna have to keep applying it. Whereas the CRC it's more of a I don't want to say it's permanent because of course it's not but it's more of a long term type of thing and it's not as uh well you don't have to babysit it okay so here i am using brake parts cleaner to uh show you that it does come off and of course uh the brake parts cleaner is going to soak right through this uh, painter's tape but you get the idea okay so let's talk about both of these products as a undercoating for your vehicle I actually i prefer to use the crc as a undercoating but i still use fluid film also but sure you could argue well this piece of metal was facing upward and it has the elements hitting it directly like rain and snow whereas if your car was undercoated with this stuff uh the elements wouldn't be hitting it the same way well in fact it's kind of not true because your tires are going to kick up rainwater you're going to drive through puddles uh snow is going to be you know jammed underneath your car or kicked up and then there's dirt and debris and everything else that your car goes through mud so this stuff is going to wash off and it's actually recommended that fluid film gets applied at least once a year because it is going to wash off. This is why I prefer to use on my personal vehicles. I prefer to use the CRC because it just seems more of a long term type of deal instead of something. I mean, let's let's just all get on the same page here. We can all agree that getting underneath your car because most of us don't have a lift can be a pain in the butt, right? So to get underneath your car to apply these products, uh, it's it's it really is a pain in the butt to apply them. Okay, so if I could minimize the amount of times that I have to slide underneath my car to apply corrosion protection, yeah, I'm gonna go with the one that lasts a little bit longer. 
Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody is paying me to say anything. Nobody has sent me any products, okay? All the products I have here, I purchased with my own money over the years and I just kind of found something that I really like and something that seems to work. All right, so I'm just trying to pass that information on to you guys because I've been down that rabbit hole of buying different products that are going to protect from corrosion and at the end of the day all you did is waste your money and end up with snake oil so i'm just trying to relay this information onto anyone who's looking for it because i think this stuff works really well as you can see i've been showing you guys clips in the background and these are just things over the years that i've been using this product for and anything that i have sprayed with the crc if i go look on it today that thing still looks like brand new parts if you were to wipe off the CRC. And I think that's pretty much all I have to say about these products. They are both great products. And in fact, there are situations where you're going to want to use the fluid film over the CRC. So it's not like you could just choose one product and run with it. It's the reason why I carry both of them here in the garage. Uh, sorry about that. But I'd like to hear your opinion on this. I know uh, talking about corrosion protection, you can open up a can of worms as far as the internet goes. But have you tried the fluid film or the CRC? And if so, did you find the same thing that I found as far as how well they work? And uh, yeah, here in Chicago, these cars, they just kind of rot away and fall apart very quickly. So if there's anything I can do to slow down that process, I'm all for it. So if you know even of a different product that works just as well, let me know in the comment section. Really interested in this type of stuff. At this point, you could stop watching the video because this image right here is just a placeholder. So... Gong it.